Here we are, the last days of Toys R Us. It's hard to believe, you know, uh, sale signs are already popping up, up to 30% off. Uh, it's like my childhood is dying. So, in order to uh, preserve the amazing thing that Toys R Us was, we are doing a virtual tour of the store. That way, if you forget or you want to show somebody what it was like, here it is. You know, I don't want to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. Singing more of this song will result in a copyright violation. Giant stuff to buy at the front. Favorite blue shopping carts. They're extra large for shoving tons and tons of toys in. Where's the sandboxes up front? Yeah, I love to have the sandboxes. So beginning our tour of Toys R Us. And the beginning is usually some of the cheaper toys. And then some of the bigger stuff as well. The summertime is approaching. We got all the water stuff. And usually, you know, if it's winter time, you would have winter stuff, sleds and whatnot. Trampolines and swing sets. So you could basically get just about anything kid related at Toys R Us. And like this one, it also has a Baby's R Us built in. So get stuff for babies. Often gift registries would be supplied here. We've even got sunblock for kids playing outdoors, little mini pools, different splash toys, motorized boats. Small gear for kids so they don't drown. Got Paw Patrol on Nickelodeon. They often, you know, show off specific toys as you first come in. You can already see the shelves are starting to go empty. Gift wrapping, classic toys like hula hoops. We were talking about sandboxes earlier and all your sand toys. Everything was geared up for summer, looks like, by the time they recognized that they were going out of business. As seen on TV products. You can always find crazy stuff that you wouldn't find anywhere else. Candelicious bubbles, bubbles you can eat, artificial chocolate flavor. Artificial chocolate flavored bubbles. That sounds like a very strange <laughs> and kind of fun toy review. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm brave enough for that. <laughs> Dump trucks, foam swords. Foam swords are great. So as we continue on in our tour of Toys R Us. Front section, got our super soakers for the year. Man, that is a huge one. Look at that. I'm not even sure that's super soaker brand. That's sizzling cool. Probably one of the various knockoffs. More gift material, gift bags and whatnot. Batteries for all your toys. <laughs> if you ever wanted a board game, Toys R Us was the place to go. With everything, different types of Monopoly, Twister, all the, the classics, including you know newer ones like Pie Face and Loaded Lemons, and Jenga Challenge. Kind of makes you wonder what's going to happen to all this uh, extra stuff that they use to advertise everything. Imagine like buying it from the Toys R Us as it goes out of business and trying to find room for, for some of this Decorate stuff. <laughs> Decorated kids room. Yeah, for real. You know, there's, there's costume stuff over here. And then a ton of stuff for uh, the movies coming out. You can find posters, toy trains, random tiny collectibles, more bags. Spider-Man toys. 
Wonder Woman toy line, Justice League. Honestly, one of my favorite things about Toys R Us was its action figure selection. Selection was always huge. Oh, and look at this. Infinity War toys are already coming out. Captain America grew a beard. Awesome. That's pretty exciting. Always one of those little moons. So, yeah, even Disney movie stuff. It's fun to see what people come up with. Yeah. It's kind of nice that they had this cool movie section. The tween versus adult version. Look at the uh, invisible jet. Tween Wonder Woman and adult Wonder Woman. <laughs> the invisible, invisible jet. jet. <laughs> if I had a daughter, she could play with that Barbie. <laughs> So as we continue our virtual tour of Toys R Us, we are headed for the game section. Like I said, we showed off some of the games already. Don't Spill the Beans, Ants in the Pants. Again, plenty of classics. It's not uncommon to find games at Walmart and other places, but the sheer selection that Toys R Us had is what made it amazing. So you can find obscure games like the game of meme. <laughs> and Smartish, where you don't have to know it all. Smartish. You don't have to know it all. Sounds awesome. <laughs> I can play that game. Yeah, you know, it's not just, you know, these three shelves. One shelf, two shelf, three shelf, four shelf, five shelf. You know, and it's just endless rows of games. I mean, we aren't even at, like, dolls and action figures and Lego section yet. Lego section. Oh, man. It's absolutely amazing. And we got more games here. More, 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 and more. Uh, wait. There's more. A whole nother aisle of games. Some of these are puzzles. You know, this wall is puzzles. Chess and illusions of magic. Dominoes. Who remembers Domino Rally? That was fun. The Stinky Pig game. Like the Stinky Pig. <laughs> lots and lots of fun. They leave our game section behind. We start to get into some of the small kids' toys, Playmobil, and, and other things, different Disney toys, other classic toys. Some of these I had as a kid. Playmobil section. I don't even know where you would get Playmobil outside of Toys R Us. I'm not sure I've seen Playmobil anywhere else. I don't... You know, if, you, if Playmobil is at Walmart, it's not going to be a very huge section. So they always have the giant sets. Little calico critters. And this is an entire aisle dedicated to calico critters. Some of it's already been clearance and wiped out, so... Obviously, somebody plays with these cute little figurines. And there's more of them. Power wheels... Stop motion animation. Yeah. Actually, a friend of mine made this video. I've watched this on YouTube. That's amazing. I can't remember his name at the moment, but uh, he does Gundam stop motion animations like I do. Pretty sure that's the one he made. Toy grill. I'm getting into the Lego section, which is huge. Just to give an overview, this is all Legos. Got some different playset things in the middle that aren't Lego, but then more Lego. And we get into the Mega Blocks. I love how Mega Blocks picked up the Halo franchise. It's definitely a good plan on their part. And the Lego is 5% off currently. Not a very big discount, but hey, it's discounted. And that's awesome.
but, you know, still enough to make you cry. Got all the Duplo Lego stuff. Ooh, display case. See, we're already wiping out stuff here in some of the Lego sections. And different things you could play with at the Lego store. Which is fun. Got different cars and things for kids. The Star Wars Lego section. Lego Technic. Powerpuff Girls Legos, Batman Legos, Superhero Legos. <laughs> that is very cute. It's a, uh, magical Unicorn Carriage. Magical Unicorn Carriage. <laughs> Looks like all the glass display cases for the, or the plastic display cases for the Lego stuff is gone. Which is kind of sad, because... Honestly, I thought to myself, if Toys R Us is going out of business, I want one of those. But they're already gone. We got Battle Bots. Animal Planet makes a bunch of different stuff that's here. Boxes of dinosaurs and whatnot. Got the science section full of Different types of animals, full of detail. Dinosaurs yeah, are always my favorite. Especially this one. Okay, not technically dinosaur, maybe prehistoric. For sure. Yes. Modeled after the Jurassic Park T Rex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, little detailed figures here. Farm world, dinosaurs, horse club. It's everything a kid could imagine. It's kind of like being in an endless toy aisle, honestly. It just keeps going and going. Fairy gardens. Fairy gardens. It's a thing. Of Who knew? <laughs> Get into play food, play money. You know, lots of different pretend toys. Great for kids' imaginations. Get into... Uh, Wacky Lab, Crystals and Gemstones Mining Kit, Dinosaurs, always loved making slime, grew up some glow-in-the-dark slime, Edge Science Lab, Control Your Robot, you know, they also had basics, you know, like microscopes and telescopes, human body right here. Try me. Oh, it feels so gross. That really is neat. It feels like real intestines. Because I <laughs> totally touched human intestines before. <laughs> I did hold a, a human brain once. That was interesting. It's a lot heavier than you'd think. These have always impressed me. These cool little play sets that uh, Animal Planet has put on. You know, a huge boat. I've always thought these would be fun to review. What's interesting is they tend to have some Jurassic Park knockoff stuff, too. I don't exactly see it, but uh, some of them would have like the JP on the, way, on, on the hip of the dinosaur. And you're like, wait. Wait. That's totally Jurassic Park. How did you pull that off? You know, this one's kind of like something straight out of the mummy. Something like that. There's some really interesting toys here. Bigfoot. Yeah. Dinosaur from Jurassic Park. Smoke-breathing smoke ice dragon. Smoke-breathing ice dragon. <laughs> It looks like they don't have the JPs on these dinosaurs, but I kid you not, there was a time, not terribly long ago, where they totally had it. 
I just love all this stuff. I actually bought this to turn into a giant monster for a Army of Men stop motion. We got sea monkeys, soft, plush dinosaurs, great for cuddling with, teeth and claws and all, dragons. Oh, look, there's a Bigfoot now. I need this. <laughs> he keeps me safe while I sleep at night. <laughs> this looks really cool. Look at this. Yeah, a little command center. A talking globe. That could get irritating. <laughs> Especially when countries change their names, like the USSR becomes Russia. What country is this? Russia. No, it's the USSR. It's Russia. <laughs> Gecko bot walks up windows. Oh, that sounds cool. Climb smooth vertical surfaces. Of course, how does it get to those smooth surfaces? That's probably have to stick it on there, but still, very, very cool. Gyrobot, kids' first chemistry set. Start getting into the Babies R Us section, which we are not going to include very deeply in our tour, but uh, it exists. They're usually in your bigger Toys R Uses. Baby toys, we'll cover those. Yep, different baby toys. Pretty normal for people to give their kids gifts registries for birthdays or children being born, etc. I want one of these too. <laughs> Might not fit. <laughs> It'll fit. Just gotta lose some weight, that's all. Different books, learning books. All part of your standard Toys R Us. Coding robot. Coding robot. Yeah. Interesting. Ready to go right out of the box. There's some really crazy cool stuff here. here's another coding set. Coding set. Neat. Continuing on into our Babies R Us journey. Everything a baby could need. Some people get their diapers here. Like with them going out of business, it's probably a really good time to get diapers. Who's going to think of that? Sleepy Time Glow Bear. I had a company that wanted me to review that. But I, I just felt like the Sleepy Time Glow Bear was going to cramp my style at night, and so I declined. Mag Formers, intelligent magnetic construction set for brain development. And we've got Magnetic G.I. Joe in there. That's really cool. I just want it for the Magnetic G.I. Joe, but it's $64.99. I don't think it's going to happen. If it wasn't for being totally into Gundam, I think I would be totally into into these. They even have a Masters of the Universe set, which is absolutely amazing. I mean, these guys would be so cool to do stop motion animation with. I love them. I love them all. I bet they're customizable. Mega Blocks, I love what you've done with the Lego world. I know, they're Mega Blocks, not Legos, but I love it. I think they've got some really creative and really kind of brought a game change to the whole thing. Just like uh, Busby has done to Nerf. Took him a while. Have some real competition. But it exists. Ooh, Ninja Turtles Technodrome. <gasps> the thing is huge. Look at that. It's beautiful. You need that too. Why didn't we bring a bigger cart? <laughs> Best of the American League? Knock off Lego men. Light bricks. There's no lack of building toys here. 
fidget spin. Go fidget spin. How does Lego work? Ball bearings? Yeah, the ball bearings. You could probably put something in there and have fun with regular ones. I just invented something on video. Now we're into the boring section. <laughs> oh, Toys R Us. I don't even know why this is here. <laughs> and there's beads and jewelry and making sculptures. And that actually looks really cool. You're going to make slime fashionable. There's what? Glam goo makes slime Glam fashionable. Glam goo. Now, hey, that's not so bad. <laughs> and <wear>. <laughs> <laughs> start getting into the Crayola section. We could start coloring, start painting, silly sense markers, which teaches kids to snort sharpies in their later days. I didn't say that. <laughs> what do you think happens if you encourage them to sniff markers? Squish putty. Squish. Slime, stick it, splash it, glow it, splat it. Nickelodeon. Flarp is always fun. Love Flarp. Ooh, ooze bath. You know, I just reviewed this. Only it was called slime bath. It looks like it's been remarketed as ooze bath. Interesting. And jelly bath, which is a little bit also different. odd. Look, it's like a cross between the snow stuff and yeah, isn't it reminiscent? Yeah, of the snow? it's like a yeah. cross between snow and goo. This this looks like the fake snow that we reviewed last summer, and, and uh, this I just bath. edited. Only it was called slime bath, and it was from the UK. Nice morph. Super light, super lega, <laughs> magna doodle. Wow, it just goes on and on. Play Doh. Yeah, there's whole YouTube channels dedicated to Play Doh. It's it's crazy. Oh, the only at Toys R Us stuff. Toy box winning invention. Mattel born on TV, made by Mattel. No peeking. You're holding the winning toy in your hands. I, I want to know what's in it. <laughs> well, someone cheated. Someone cheated. <laughs> someone else cheated too. Someone else cheated too. This whole, Mattel, this isn't working. People just open it when you're not looking. <laughs> it wasn't me. What's nope. in it, Sarah? Just speak really quick. Oh, okay. <laughs> All kinds of art stuff. I remember getting stuff like this for birthdays and Christmas. Smooshins. Surprise character mold. Huh. Interesting. More Nickelodeon slime. Seems to be a big thing. I've come across that several times just, just today. Different art sets. What's they're that? Like, Unis. They're like little bubbly things. Inflate these. Everything you need to make unis. That looks fun. It looks like it's not going to live very long. But it looks so fun. I want it. Nice. Honestly, sometimes I just like to review stuff because it's fun. Giant Play-Doh sets. Only at Toys R Us. Exclusive versions. That's one thing that Toys R Us have is a lot of exclusive stuff. Kinetic sand. You know, the the list goes on and on. We're, we're barely a quarter into the store and it just goes on forever and ever. Into the train section. Little wooden trains and whatnot. Got different brands now. Imaginarium Express. 
my first Thomas and Friends. Some videos they started adding in, I think maybe to get things to be more interactive for kids because of YouTube toy reviews ruining the world and things like that. <laughs> No, I kind of think that one of the things that Toys R Us should have done is start sponsoring toy reviews all over YouTube. I think it would have really definitely helped with sales. Then rebranding as an online store like the BigBadToyStore.com. I think that could have really made a big difference. Hopefully, they might still do that. Who knows? Ooh, look at this one. It's so big. More train stuff. More and more and more. Start getting into the baby stuff. Mr. Potato Head. Toddler stuff. Wonder Crew. These are been pretty interesting. It's a Jurassic World set. There was a variance of this that were just like Dino Riders a few years back. Okay. Yeah. Hold on. I don't know how to put it back in. Anyway. More toddler toys. Even your toddler had toys at Toys R Us. Which is pretty cool. And it continues our baby section. Complete with baby food and other stuff. Teddy Ruxpin. Whoa. He got a Revamp. It's a little different there. Friend. Teddy Ruxpin's come back from the dead. With Zombie Ruxpin. I think his eyes are creepy. Official return. Soft, smarter, softer, and more cuddly. So this it. one looks very different from this one. Just saying. <laughs> I guess he has different eyes though. Cold, surprised, loving, laughing. Yep. There's just so much here. And there's even more up there. Leapfrog. Learning stuff. Learning stuff from Leapfrog. 